So for more on what these new developments mean for Canadians, I'm joined by Dr. Colin Lee. You are a specialist in public health and infectious disease. Curious off the bat, do you think Canada should be doing more at the port points of entry, uh, taking temperatures or asking more questions? Certainly as the outbreak progresses and there's more countries that are affected, we could screen for more countries, but we also know that as this occurs, the screening is just going to be less effective because there's just so many people coming in. So it is a bit of a, a catch-22. Uh, you can do more, but it will be less effective. You know, there's a, there's a video making the rounds today of the German Chancellor Angela Merkel, we'll play a little bit of it, be, going in for a handshake with a colleague and being rejected, <laughs> and it's, it's clear she thinks that's a good idea. At, at what point does Canada gently have a conversation with Canadians about maybe taking a pass on the handshakes for a while? I think this can start now, really, because there's lots of cultures do different things. Uh, I remember uh, during the last pandemic, we were doing uh, the elbow bump. Mm -hmm. um, in the other cultures, it's hands together. Other cultures, it's a bowing. So I think it's not unreasonable to start now. We just don't want to get ill. And, and second of all, if you shake someone's hand, you're going to have to wash your hands. And it's just not practical. So it could start now. It could start later. I don't think it, there's, a, there's a rule to that. There's no downside to There's it. no downside. As long as, long as everyone understands it. I'm just shaking, not shaking your hands. I just don't want to wash my hand again, right? And in addition to washing their hands, which we know is, is always good advice, is there one or two other things Canadians could and should be doing right now? Not, not to be scared, but, but just to right. be smart. So I think the, the one thing that we should be prepared is that there's going to be a good likelihood there's going to be more illnesses. So we have to prepare a household. So that how are we going to take care of multiple people ill? And then our businesses, if you have a lot of people ill away, how are you going to accommodate that? Are people going to be able to do other functions for those ill people? And how are people going to be able to work from home? So think, we have to think about those plans right now. All right, Dr. Lee, thanks very much.